Hi Virgo, this is your horoscope for March 2017. Thanks for joining me. Now, in March, we've got Jupiter and Pluto squaring each other all month. And Jupiter is the lucky planet of good fortune and success. And that sits in your second house of money all month. So March is going to look good for you in terms of your finances. You'll be receiving more than usual. Good luck is on your side. So look at the financial side of things. Um, take, well, don't, you don't need to take risks in the sense that um, good luck and good things are going to come your way. But if you are juggling your money around, then it's okay to do so because Jupiter supports you in that and it helps you to make more money and to create more abundance for yourself. Now, Jupiter then squares Pluto, that 90 degrees aspect, and Pluto is in Capricorn in your fifth. Um, and what that's going to cause you to focus on is making changes when it comes to your romantic life. So it can go both ways. Because they're squaring each other, they kind of create friction, but they also kind of bleed into each other. So the good luck of Jupiter supports Pluto, and the transformation supports Jupiter. So more money. When it comes to your relationship life, it may be that things get more serious, or the nature of your relationships is the nature of your relationship is changing. And the more work you put into it, whichever way you want it to go, whether you want to become closer to this person who you care about and love, then there's potential for that to happen and good luck will support you. But if you're in a negative relationship and you want to kind of ease out of that relationship, doing the work on that will also be supported. So it's a double-edged sword. It can go either way depending on what you want. Now from the 20th of February, Till the 10th of March, the Sun and Neptune have been conjuncting each other in your 7th house. So, I'm a Virgo myself, I don't know about you, but February has not been a fun month. It's been very passive, it's been very emotional, it's been very much about past issues reappearing and coming up. Things that we dealt with 10 years ago reappeared and we had to kind of deal with them again. When these two move apart, it stops being so melodramatic, especially when it comes to your relationships with other people. I think you may have had the tendency to be overly needy or clingy or not in your own power. Um, intuitive wise and in terms of your psychic abilities, it's been good, but emotionally, I think it's been a rough ride. And that starts to get better on the 10th of March when these two leave each other's company and you'll start to feel more like yourself. Now on the 4th of March, Venus goes retrograde and Venus is the personal planet of love and beauty and it stays in retrograde until the 14th of April. <clears throat> now the personal planets are important when they go retrograde. Mercury, Mars, Venus. Venus only goes retrograde once every year and a half so it's significant and it happens in your 8th house. So Venus retrograde is not a good time to plan or to have a wedding to start a new business or to launch any new venture that you really love and care about. For you particularly, Virgo, it's in your eighth house of paperwork, institutions, other people. Not a good time to start any of these things. It will, what if you do, it will inherently contain the problems associated with Venus retrograde. So try and avoid it. It's from the 4th of March until the 14th of April. Now on the 12th of March, good news because we've got a full moon in Virgo and this is the reward after the Neptune-Sun conjunction which has been happening from the 20th of Feb to the 10th of March where you felt like rubbish probably and this full moon in Virgo happens in your first house and you start to feel more practical, more like yourself and like you can have power in your life and affect change and it's not just about past disappointments and relationships and pain and I need this person to feel at peace and all of that stuff which has been going on. Uh, from the 21st of March until the 1st of April, Mercury begins to conjunct Uranus and that's in your 8th house. Now Mercury is a communication planet. In Aries it's more aggressive than it usually would be and Uranus is rebellion and eccentricity. In Aries it's very powerful. Uh, both of those are in your 8th house, so is the Venus retrograde, so is the Sun in Aries. So you're really going to focus and you're going to have a drive to tackle big institutions or to take something on. You're looking for an opponent. You're looking for a fight basically. You're back to being your Virgo self, 
the critical eye is back and now you're looking for someone to either criticize or to undo or to expose and you're going to feel very strongly about that. So rather than take on other people, why not take on the things that have caused you problems for the last two, three weeks and really let go of those. Choose your opponents in the sense of what has caused you pain in the last two months, not who needs to be taken down a pe peg or two, a nog or two, what? Not a nog. A notch or two, taking someone down a notch or two. Okay, don't do that, it's pointless. Focus on the things that have hurt you and caused you pain and attack those in a sense and get them out of your system so that you can feel more grounded within yourself. That kind of energy strengthens and heightens and on the 28th of March we've got the new moon in Aries in your 8th house. So there's going to be a drive and a desire to kind of be, to find an opponent. So it's me versus them. And that's not helpful. I mean that's what the whole political thing at the moment is all about. Us versus them. And the truth is unless you're starting another holocaust you're never going to get rid of them so you're going to have to try and find a way to live with them okay so this us versus them mentality is never helpful because we're all part of the human family and we all have our own problems and someone attacking you one doesn't help you and doesn't help the other person either because it will make them defensive and the walls will go up and they're not going to change so you're kind of on the war path here a little bit at the end of the month. Use that um, ability to affect change within yourself and get rid of these emotional things that have come up in February. If you've discovered that you need a man to be happy, if you've discovered that the addiction stuff has come back, if you've discovered that um, you've had disturbing dreams or messages, then look at those things and be done with those once and for all and use that aggressive energy to get rid of them and to make clear decisions and to stand firmly behind those decisions. That's the best way to use this. The good news in this month is that money-wise things will be great. <laughs> so I hope you have a great month. If you'd like a private reading with me, please get in touch via my website. It's gregoryscott.com. Click on the readings tab to audio reading. We can have a look at what your vocational aptitudes are, what your life purpose is. We can have a look at what's coming up for you in 2017 career-wise, money-wise, in terms of your love life, romance, health, spirituality, family, anything you're interested in at all, please get in touch. Please subscribe to the channel and I'll speak to you next month.